All right, hello. Um, this video is going to explain how to use filter gallery on Photoshop. So I just opened an image of a desert fox. Um, you can open any image you want to do this tutorial. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your foreground and background colors. These are the colors right over here to black and white, which is the default. All you have to do to do that is click this little button underneath the tiny black and white square. If you ever want to change these colors, I'll show you what they do in a second, but you just click on the box. So this is the foreground color. So say I wanted red, and for the background color I wanted this light blue. That's how you would change it, and then I can show you the difference between the black and white and this in a little bit. So we're going to click back to the default, and you're going to go up to the bar up here and you're going to click filter filter gallery and it's going to open the image up you can shrink it down so you can see the whole image and then on this toolbar there's six different tabs and each of them have multiple different filters you can choose so there's things like colored pencil cutout dry brush, film grain, etc. So these are all in colored form. So that'll keep the image to its correct colors. There's different brush strokes. And each time you click on one of these, on this side, it shows the things you can change. So you can either move the bar or you can enter a number in there. So you can change all the settings. But we're going to keep looking. So when you get down to sketch, this is where the colors that you chose come in. So the image is in complete black and white because that's what we set the colors for. So this is just a few of them. So we're going to set it as, let's see, a cutout because I think this looks pretty cool. We're going to see what we can do with the settings here. So you can pretty much change any kind of thing with the filter. So you can play around until you think it looks good. And then we're going to hit OK. And this is going to make the image go to what we just told it to do. And now we're going to change the colors. So I'm going to do like a purple and then kind of a light pink. So these two are going to be the colors then when we go back into the filter. So if you go into the filter, you can't click up here because what this is going to do is it's going to put a second layer of the filter you already did. So make sure you click the filter gallery with the dots and it'll take you back into the settings again. So we're going to go to the sketch so we can get the color. So now we have those colors that we chose as what it's going to be drawn with. So let's see what we can get. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. And so is this one. So you can look through all of them. Um, each of them does something different than the others. Um, some are more unique than others, but we're going to do the graphic pen. So we're going to play around with the settings again. And we're going to click OK to make the original image that. And then, so this image, um, you can pretty much do very different filters on each image. So we're going to open a new one and see what else we can play around with. I'll do this one. So now, um, we're going to play around with the filters, but instead of doing the whole image, we're just going to select the background of the image. So you can use the magic wand tool and click the whole black background. And then we're going to try similar, but I'm thinking, yes, it's going to take that. So we're going to deselect and do that again. And then you're also going to get the quick selection tool and you're going to add a little bit 
right in here so it gets this background. Perfect. We're going to zoom back out, make sure it's not cutting off any of the girl's body parts or hair. And then we're going to go back into the filter gallery. And what this will do is it will only change the background behind the girl. So those are going to change the color. But we're just going to see what we can do. So it is a black background, so it isn't going to do much. But we can use one of these as the background. Just turn this down a bit. Oh, there we go. Give her a little bit of a glow. So now this will change the background. And then we're going to set this back to the foreground colors, the black and white. Go back into the filter gallery with the background still selected. And then you can change different things like this. So it would leave color around the girl, but put the gray. See what kind of things change. Oh, this one's different. All right, so we're going to use this one. Just going to change the settings. Change how smooth the image is, the detail, and then we're going to click OK. So then to deselect the background, just click deselect, and you have a different background. So I'm going to open one more image to test out Filter Gallery one more time. Let's see what else would be good. Okay, we're going to do the fish. So we're going to change the colors. Actually, no, we'll keep it black and white. And we're going to click Filter, Filter Gallery with the dots. And zoom out a little. So this is kind of interesting because you really get to see more of the textures in this image. So there's some different textures. I do sponge. That's something that's pretty cool is to distort so it makes it look like glass or an ocean ripple. Then you got sketch, which is all of these different ones, which will turn it black and white. And then we have stylize. So we can change this one. Makes it look like a neon painting. Keep it kind of dark. So we're going to click OK. So as you can see, each image is completely different. Let's see, I can open some other different ones. All right, so here are some other examples of what you can do with filter gallery. So this around the background has been selected around the girl. And there's a geometric shape one that you can put in the background. And then her face and hair and body was selected and there is like more of a distorted filter and sketch filter used on our face. This one the same thing we selected the outside and changed to a geometric background and then we selected the girl and changed the background colors. And this is similar to the one we created. This one more distortion and sketching was used. This one the outside of the car was selected and used neon glow. This one was the black and white had been changed to blue and green and then sketching um, to make it look more like a drawing. And then the dog one again is another geometric one but the pixel sizes of the little geometric shapes are smaller. And then this one uses the cutout filter and it's less layers so that it looks more like a painting. And then the flowers, uh, they were selected each individually to distort them and make them look more drawn. And then over the top, 
like outside, it was made to look like water. And then this one, the colors were changed and more of a sketch version. That's all the examples I have. So the nice thing about using filter gallery is you can change your image and make it more interesting or give it more of a drawn look or just a different look. It can make your images more unique and give you a different type of image to use for any projects you may have. Have fun.